Hey guys, it's your girl, she explosive, and you guys click on this video because you want to gain weight. Are trying to gain weight and what better year to start than now so um let me just make a disclaimer just because it works for me um it might not work for you everyone's body is different everyone's body reacts differently to different things so i just wanted to get out get that out there so you guys don't come crazy in my comments okay okay so we are getting all these gains all 21 and i'm not just talking about weight gains i'm also talking about wealth gains life gains financial gains all the games you could think of that is what we are getting together we're in this we're in this together y'all okay we're in this together so it's very simple the way that you gain weight is by doing a calorie surplus diet yes that's it a calorie surplus diet now you're probably wondering okay what is a calorie surplus diet don't worry i'm gonna get to that but first we just have to take it back we have to take it back to where it all started in 2016 when i went on my weight gain journey yes yes 2016 before covid came and wanted to mess this whole world up before i had to wear these stupid masks okay like don't even get me started on that so yes 2016 around 2016 2017 that's when i started um my weight gain journey all right and my start weight was Start weight was 99 pounds. What is that? And, um, oh, so you could see. And my current weight is 150 pounds. Brown oh, no, wow. Wow. Yeah, no, right. Yes, that is my current weight. Like, y'all don't know how happy I am to get to this weight. <laughs> I, I can see you. Here. Yes, I started from the bottom now. I'm here. Okay, so let's get into the logistics of what a calorie surplus diet entails. So, a calorie surplus diet involves consuming more calories than you burn. Um, so, in other words, you are basically doubling your calories, which can lead to weight in a weight gain in the form of muscle or fat. It's up to you, if you which route you take, pretty much. If you normally consume 1,500 calories, you'll double your calories and just um, consume 3,000 calories. So, basically, our body mass increases. So, now you're probably like, okay, so that's what a calorie surplus diet is, but how do I achieve these calories? What do I have to eat? What do I have to consume? Um, I'm going to get to that. I got you, girl. I got you. So, basically, you're going to, you know how we have breakfast, lunch, and then supper? So, you're going to incorporate two snacks within the breakfast, lunch, and dinner so you can get all these calories. All right? Now, there are ways to track your calories so you can make sure that you're getting all the gains that you are going to need. For instance, um, my Fitness Pal, which is like my absolute favorite app, well, the only app that I use, but I love it. Um, I use it back in the day. I don't use it anymore because I have a general idea of what 3,300 calories is, you know? So, you, with this app, you can track your food with a barcode scanner to log foods in. This app basically does all the work for you. Hello, you can even set goals. It'll tell you your start weight. You enter, um, like, what your start weight is and what your goal, like, your goal weight is. This app is great if you want to gain weight, lose weight, or just maintain your weight. Like, it's just an all-around great app. So, there are other apps you can use, but... Uh, it's not like this one. I'm just going to let you know now. This app basically does all the work for you, so you know that you're um, consuming 300 calories you feel me so now you're probably wondering okay like I have to consume all these 300 calories but how the heck am I gonna do that if I don't have an appetite so everything that I'm literally talking about right now I'm speaking from experience okay keep that in mind I'm speaking from experience so there are appetite stimulators that you can um, get to help you gain an appetite for instance, there's a pita man, I know there's a pill version of a pita man, and there's also macaroon, but I don't really know much about macaroon, so I'm not gonna really speak on something I don't know much about. But a pita man, I do know a lot about a pita man because I used to take a pita man, yes. Back in the day when I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I was on a pita man for about two months and I hated it. Like it was like a love and hate relationship. It made me feel really tired, I felt drowsy, and I would always have to get up early for work, go to the gym, like it just did not really fit 
my lifestyle you know what i mean so i kind of wind off weaned off of the pita man but i loved it because it gave me an appetite i literally was hungry every second of the day and i was just consuming so much food like anything i could get my hands on i was eating but that's where i kind of went wrong because i was consuming literally everything like fast food junk food it was not good but let me tell you it does work because the pita man um it basically slows down your metabolism so that you are able to keep weight on you that's what a pita man does and it gives you an appetite and when i tell you it gives you an appetite it gave me an appetite okay um and i literally started seeing myself gain weight in a matter of two weeks like no lie i see myself gain weight in two weeks okay um so yeah you can take a pita man but i'm just saying if you have a very busy lifestyle and you have to get up early you're always gonna go i would not recommend a pita man at all because you're literally tired for the first two three days and I, mm -mm, I literally slept all day like all day yes so okay so now you're probably like all right so how do i know what to eat what's healthy if i can't eat no fast food i got you okay i'm gonna give you a list of um healthy fats that you can consume so you can gain healthy weight because isn't that what we want we want we want to get thick but we want healthy weight okay so i'm just gonna run through my list number one on my list is protein smoothies yes protein smoothies okay do not sleep on the protein smoothies i'm telling you protein smoothies are homemade smoothies that can be highly nutritious in a quick way to gain weight yes i said quick literally you will start seeing you gain weight like that like it's quick um i have a little story about protein smoothies because literally when i first started on my weight gain journey i remember going to walmart and i was like you know what i'm gonna get some protein because i know that you could gain weight with protein and mass and i literally like made like a jug like this okay filled it up with protein smoothie i put bananas milk ice cream i try to make it good because protein has like a really chalky taste that i do not like and i'm not a fan of so i literally incorporated all of that in my smoothie and it tasted all right and i took it to work every morning and i would drink the whole thing and it's weird because after i had this uh the protein smoothie i felt hungry afterwards i don't know if that's just me it could just be my body like i said everyone's body is different but literally after i had the protein shake i was hungry and i ate literally after i had the protein shake yeah when i tell you i was weight hungry like i was waking up like i wanted to gain weight like i was just hungry to gain some weight okay next on my list are insures now insures are disgusting okay i i'm not gonna even lie to you in my opinion i think they're gross um but they help okay they have 350 calories in them and if you do not have time to eat a meal or something you could grab an insure now i would not say it's a meal replacement because remember we are gaining weight we're not trying to lose weight but if you don't have time to eat something right then and there grab a shake and drink it but i'm going to give you some tea okay so um you know how walmart there's a walmart brand for everything called equate so if you get the equate shakes they taste better and they're cheaper okay like who wouldn't want to save money hello next on my list is rice nuts and nut butters peanut butter oh peanut butter is great okay you can put it on a cracker you can put it on bread you can put it on fruits and it even has like it's filled with protein okay and i'm gonna tell you why protein is important we just gotta do one thing at a time girl one thing at a time red meat potatoes and starches oh i don't know if you guys ever heard this it's a little something that i heard i don't know if it's true but i heard that potatoes go straight to your butt like starches go straight to your butt now i don't know if it's true but that's that's what i heard um salmon fish dried fruits now dried fruits are a great snack that you can incorporate in your meals well well in your diet i guess i could say you remember i talked about snacking dried fruits is a good snack um whole grain bread avocados let me tell you something about avocados okay if you do not like avocados we can be cool sis we can okay i'm just kidding but no, avocados are great for you just overall, like your skin, your hair. I even did an avocado um, decondition treatment the other night, okay? Okay, y'all yeah. see the curls? But no, for real, like they're good for you overall. Um, healthy cereals, I remember I was hungry one night and I sure did make me some honey bunches of oats, a bowl, and it was so good. Great way to get your calories. Don't sleep on the healthy cereals. Milk, dark chocolate, cheese, eggs, 
um, full fat yogurt, healthy oils, for example, extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. Great oils to cook with if you want to get the gains, okay? So now, you're probably wondering, okay, Sarah, you keep talking about protein. Why do you keep talking about protein? I keep talking about protein because when you are on this weight gain journey, you're going to have to work out, okay? You're going to have to work out. And I'm really kind of looking the other way because I haven't worked out in months. Yeah. But I'm going to get back into it. I mean, hello, a bit of time to do it than to do it now, right? 2021, new year. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of how I looked when I was working out, like right over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get back into it, okay? I'm gonna get back into it, but working out is very important as you can see because, hello, you could control where the weight goes, okay? Don't let the fat take over you. Don't let the fat control you. You control the fat. You control where the weight goes, okay? Keep that in mind. So yeah, it plays a major role. It's a major, major key. key. And like I said, you could literally control where the weight goes. And if you don't come from a family with no waist and big butts, and I'm telling you right now, the weight is not going to go where you want it to go. Um, genetics also plays a role in your weight gain because, like I said, if you, if you come from a family with no waist and hips and thighs, then you're going to most likely get that as well. But if not, you know the rest, okay? Um, also, if you're using an appetite stimulator like a Pedamin, I do want you to know... I do want you to know, um, sis, the weight is going to go in your face and in your stomach. I'm letting you know that now. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm, I'm for real. Because that's where the weight went for me. Well, some of the weight. That's where the weight went. Yes. In my face, in my stomach. I, I, I will never forget that. I don't know why. That's just what a pedamin does. Um, if you are currently on a pedamin, comment down below where the weight goes. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell you, it's going to be in your face and in your gut. So sad. I know. So, so freaking sad. So for me, I'll tell you where the weight went. Um, so when I first started my weight gain journey, a lot of the weight went in my butt. Yes. A lot. People literally thought that I got my butt done. People was like, did you take okay. a trip to 305 and um, get a butt? And I'm like... First of all, in order to do that, you're going to have to get fat from somewhere. And I literally had fat nowhere. So, yes, yeah, so it went in my butt, my hips, my face, and my stomach. I ain't going to lie. I got it. Yes. The weight went in my stomach, too. And that's why I say working out is important. Now, um, I think the reason why it went where it went is because, again, the genetics plays a role. My mom is pure shaped. In other words, she's 50 she's thick. Thick. <laughs> Okay? She's thick. So, then when I started getting weight, your girl got thick, too. Okay, shout out to you, mom. So that's why I mentioned that genetics plays a major role, and that's why I mentioned that working out plays a major role. So when you are consuming so much protein and you work out, then it will turn to muscle. Okay, that's why I stress. That, uh, I can't that stress you enough. um you had you. I can't talk. That's why I can't stress enough how protein is important in your diet because that is in combination with working out. You following me? You guys took some notes? You following me? Okay. So, now, it's time for the pictures. It's time for the good stuff, okay? I'm going to incorporate pictures um, from 2016 till now so you guys can kind of see, like, a difference in each year and how I looked each year. And I know you guys are dying to see pictures. Like, we wouldn't want to see pictures of before and after. Maybe that's, like, the best part of the video. Um, and just, guys, remember... Know with everything that you do, you have to be consistent. You're not going to get results overnight, okay? So do not give up. Remember, I went on this weight gain journey back in 2016. And hello, it's 2021. So you do the math, okay? So let's get into these pictures. Oh, and um, y'all, did y'all do that, that thing that costs like absolutely nothing? It's like red with white letters. I think it's called subscribe. I'm going to give you a minute to do that. I'm going to... I'm gonna give you, let me, I'm gonna give you a minute to do that, okay? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> All right, so let's just get into these pictures. Um, I guess I'll catch you. Not I guess, I will. I'll catch you in my next video, guys.